Good morning and welcome on this wonderful Pentecost Sunday morning. As you will have noticed, there's a change of scene. I'm no longer in the garden and I hope you're as excited as I am to see again the inside of one of our church buildings. We just have permission yesterday to open, to record worship. And so we've come together, joining on this special day. And I read Psalm 150. Praise the Lord, praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heaven. Praise him for his mighty works. Praise his unequaled greatness. Praise him with a blast of the ram's horn. Praise him with the lyre and the harp. Praise him with the tambourine and dancer. Praise him with strings and flutes. Praise him with a clash of cymbals. Praise him with loud clanging cymbals. Let everything that breathes sing praises to the Lord. Praise the Lord. We may not have our tambourines. We may not feel like dancing around our living rooms. But we come filled with the joy and the wonder of gathering in worship in God's presence. Let us pray. Spirit of life, breathe on us. Spirit of truth, 
speak to us. Spirit of hope, inspire us. Spirit of power, work through us. Today and all days, God of power and glory, we praise your holy name. Your Pentecostal fire spread not from priest or king, but from ordinary lives, when through your disciples you set this world aflame. So fill this place, we pray, that your Spirit's power may be seen through our ordinary lives. Rekindle the fire in our hearts that was lit when we first believed that we might become a blessing to men. God of power and glory, we praise your holy name. Lord, if our flame grows dim and faith goes cold, revive us, we pray. Breathe upon the spark that still remains. Stir again the embers of our first love. Warm our hearts and souls for worship. Bring us once again to where it all began, that we might become messengers of grace, relighting your flame of love throughout this dark world. For the gifts of your spirit so freely given to all who ask, we offer up our thanks for wisdom to discern your will, and knowledge for the building of faith, we offer up our thanks for healing, bringing wholeness to lives, and prophecy to declare your living word. We offer up our thanks for the gifts of your spirit so freely given to those who ask. We offer up our thanks. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We say together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.
reading from Acts chapter 2 and at verse 1. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. Now there were staying in Jerusalem God-fearing Jews from every nation under heaven. When they heard this sound, a crowd came together in bewilderment because each one heard them speaking in his own language. Utterly amazed, they asked, are not all these men who are speaking Galileans? Then how is it that each of us hears them in his own no native language? Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, residents of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus, and Asia, Phrygia, and Pamphylia, Egypt, and all parts of Libya near Cyrene, visitors from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs, we hear them declaring the wonders of God in our own tongues. Amazed and perplexed, they asked one another, what does this mean? Some, however, made fun of them and said, they've had too much wine. Then Peter stood with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed the crowd. Fellow Jews, and all of you who live in Jerusalem, let me explain this to you. Listen carefully to what I say. These men are not drunk, as you suppose. It's only nine in the morning. So this is what was spoken by the prophet Joel. In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions and your old men will dream dreams. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days and they will prophesy. I will show wonders in the heaven above and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and billows of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and glorious day of the Lord. And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Thanks to you to God for his word.
reading from John chapter 20, verses 19 to 22. Jesus appears to his disciples. The disciples were afraid of the Jewish leaders, and on the evening of that same Sunday, they locked themselves into a room. Suddenly, Jesus appeared in the middle of the group. He greeted them and showed them his hands and his side. When the disciples saw the Lord, they became very happy. After Jesus had greeted them again, he said, I am sending you, just as the Father has sent me. Then he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, on this Pentecost, as the doors of our churches remain closed, we, as his disciples, are gathering behind the doors of our homes, online, via computer, tablet or phone, unable to share in physical fellowship because of COVID-19. But Jesus still comes and stands beside us, wherever we are, and says to each one of us, Peace be with you. And wherever we are, our hearts are warmed by the presence of his love and the peace of heart, mind and soul that only he can give is ours anew. He said to them, and still says to us, to you, and me receive the Holy Spirit that we may know anew the wonder of his presence in every moment of our lives using our words and our actions in the many practical ways we're sharing our resources in these times whether it be potatoes or balls of wool or technical advice, we're shopping for each other, collecting medicines and prescriptions, not forgetting too those fresh baked bread loaves and the scones appearing on doorsteps, the conversations over the garden fence or on the phone, at just the time that they are needed most. Many more examples we could easily find in these moments of the ways in which God is using us that we might reveal the blessing of encountering the living God. So take this time of celebration and open your heart anew that we may truly receive the gift of God's Spirit bringing us his peace, his love, his wisdom and his presence this day and always. Amen.
We come now to our time of prayers for our world and ourselves. Let's pray. Loving God, we ask for the gift of your Holy Spirit to help us pray as we ought. Holy Spirit, help us. We ask for the energy and vision of your Spirit for those who are tiring in the battle against injustice and oppression for those exhausted by the struggle with poverty and hunger. Holy Spirit, help us. We ask for the hope and comfort of your Spirit for those whose lives are overshadowed by illness or pain, for those whose lives are darkened by sorrow or bereavement. Holy Spirit, help us. We ask for the peace and joy of your spirit for those living in the shadow of war and violence, for those eaten up by guilt and anxiety, and for those whose Christian life has become hard and dry. Holy Spirit, help us. We ask for the guidance and strength of your spirit, for those uncertain how to use their time, talents and gifts for those tempted to do what's wrong. Holy Spirit, help us. We ask for the love and courage of your Spirit, for those reaching out to comfort the distressed, and for those reaching out to others with the good news of Christ. Holy Spirit, help us. Loving God, we ask for the assurance of your Spirit, to know your presence with us in our daily lives, in our relationships, in our work and service, in our worship, and in our times of joy and pain. Holy Spirit, help us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. 